guys. So fall is approaching and we are back to our busy schedules. Now eating right can be a bit of a challenge on the go, especially if you're like me, a mom with two kids. But not to worry, I have three quick fix recipes that'll make you happy while managing your new fall schedules. And a special thanks to Aura Wheat for sponsoring and collaborating with me on this video. All of these recipes that I'm about to show you will be made with their new sandwich thins rolls. Yum. This is a great bread idea that will work with breakfast, lunch, and even snacks. All right, you guys, so first up, breakfast, which happens to be the most important meal of the day, and sometimes it's overlooked. That's not gonna happen today. I'm gonna show you how to make my avocado toast with egg. Right in front of me, I have a sandwich thins roll. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put it into my toaster. I want these to get really nice and toasty. One thing that I love about these rolls is they have premium ingredients, such as olive oil and sea salt. So while my roll is toasting over here, I want it to get really nice and toasty for my avocado toast. I'm gonna move on to showing you guys how to make the perfect boiled egg. And what's great about this recipe is you can make a bunch of eggs ahead of time, store them in your refrigerator for up to seven days, which is amazing, and you'll have enough eggs for the rest of the week. What I have in front of me is a pot with cold water. You wanna make sure that it's not hot because we don't wanna start the cooking process just yet. Like I said, we are gonna make the perfect boiled egg. So to my water, I'm gonna add my eggs. The idea here is we want our eggs to come up to temperature with the water. Once the water comes up to a boil, then I'll start my timer for seven minutes. While my eggs are boiling, I'm gonna start working on my avocado. So this is one avocado. I'm gonna add some salt. And you can really add whatever you want to this. You can add lemon juice, you can add some herbs like parsley. Make it to your liking. All right, you guys, seven minutes have gone by. It's important to note that I have an ice bath right in front of me. You wanna make sure that you have an ice bath right next to you because once I take my eggs out, I want the cooking process to stop. So I'm just cooling them down. And you can take these eggs out when they're cool enough to touch. My eggs have cooled down. I'm just gonna take out one. There we go. This is one thing I will say that I'm a very patient person. Like I have, if that makes sense, I have a lot of patience. I'm married <laughs> and I have two kids. But for some reason, man, taking the shell off an egg, I really have to just tell myself, Tia, just take your time so I don't butcher the egg. <laughs> I'm gonna slice up my egg about a half inch thick. Perfect. I wanna hear an applause. Can we add like an applause down? <laughs> oh my gosh, egg, you look excellent. Had to. <laughs> Sorry. Look at how beautifully toasted these look. They look delicious already. I am ready for breakfast, I don't know about you. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and spread my avocado onto my bread. I just love how green avocados are. Now I'm gonna top this off with some egg, my perfectly boiled egg. You look beautiful. I'm gonna add some salt. I love biting into like avocado toast, right? And then you could just, you get that bite of the salt with the egg. Oh, it's so good. Add some pepper, you are looking beautiful. And if you want a little heat, you can add some chili flakes. Another thing that I absolutely love about these sandwich thin rolls is you can turn it into a sandwich and you can take it with you on the go. All right, you guys, next up, lunch. Now, I love a great sandwich, but not a lot of bread. And one thing that I love about Oral Wheat's sandwich thins rolls is they're nice and thin. So you enjoy more of the filling and you're not getting too much bread. One of my favorite fillings for a sandwich would definitely have to be 
a nice classic BLT. But I'm gonna put a little twist on that and I'm gonna show you how to make some spicy bacon. This is gonna be delicious. So whenever we're talking about a nice classic BLT, we have to talk about bacon, right? So I have some bacon in front of me. I have a resealable plastic bag. And to that, I am going to add some chili. There's our spice. Now, if you don't want it too spicy, you can substitute it with smoked paprika. I'm gonna add some brown sugar. Now, you know how much I love my brown sugar. <laughs> gonna mix this all together. There we go. We are taking this classic BLT to the next level. What I always like to do. And now I'm just gonna add my bacon. I'm gonna leave some air in my bag because I want my spices to actually go somewhere. <laughs> I want my spices to be able to move around in the bag and evenly coat my bacon. We definitely wanna make sure that this is closed because we don't want this going all over the place. So I have a baking sheet that I've lined with parchment paper and I'm just gonna put my bacon like so. I'm telling you guys, I made this for some of my friends at my house. They were literally licking their fingers after tasting this bacon. This bacon is so delicious. All right, you quick fixers, this is a quick way to cook bacon. You can cook a pound of bacon at one time. This is so much easier than cooking it on a stove top. So I'm gonna throw this into a 400 degree oven for 20 to 25 minutes. And halfway through, I'm gonna rotate my pan so that everything cooks nice and evenly. You can make store-bought mayo gourmet by just adding a little bit of herbs. So I'm gonna add some fresh chives, parsley, a little salt, and pepper. Mix all of this together and you have gourmet mayo. All right, my favorite part, which is basically assembling the BLT. And in front of me, I have my sandwich thins roll. I'm gonna add some mayo, my herbed mayo here. So pretty the L in the BLT. You know what took me forever to figure that out? I'm smart, I really am, you guys. <laughs> I graduated from high school, I even graduated from college, okay? But I was like, oh yeah, bacon, lettuce, tomato, duh. <laughs> I can't believe I just told you guys that. Don't use that against me, okay? Lettuce, tomato, oh, look at these, ugh. Oh. This bacon looks so good. I made these for a party that I threw at my house and one of my really good friends, Jules, she's actually my makeup artist and <laughs> she tore this up. She kept on eating all of the bacon. I was like, no, Jules, stop. She's like, oh my gosh, it's so good. If Jules says it's good, it's good. You can see that nice glaze on there from the brown sugar and the chili. Oh. All right, you guys, so this bacon is not burnt. That's just the flavors that we have on the bacon, like the brown sugar and the chili. Oh, you guys, this bacon looks amazing. Oh. Up next, a great snack idea. Now, I don't know about you, but when my kids snack, I wanna get in on the fun too. One thing that's great about this snack is it pleases everyone, kids and grownups alike. So I'm gonna be making some mini pizzas. I mean, who doesn't love pizza? <laughs> With my sandwich thins rolls. This is just store-bought sauce. Cheese, glorious cheese. It's just something that I always do. It's just tradition whenever I'm cooking cheese. The greatest thing about this snack is you can make it to your own liking, right? You can start with the tomato sauce and the cheese, and you can add whatever topping you like. I'm gonna add some spinach, get your greens in there. Now I'm gonna add my olives. I'm gonna put this under the broiler until the cheese melts, until it's nice and ooey and gooey. Ah. Oh. Doesn't this look great? I am telling you, this is a snack that is going to please everybody. Moms are gonna love it, you're gonna love it, everyone's gonna love it. So there you have it, three easy and delicious recipes that'll keep you happy during your busy fall schedules. And a big special thanks to Oral Wheat for sponsoring and collaborating with me on this video. And if you want more great snack ideas, just click right there and I'll see you over there. Bye guys.